Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. hunting dog when I was 17. My passion for pheasant hunting has taken off ever since. One thing I really enjoy about pheasant hunting is it's an active sport. If you're serious about pheasant hunting, you're going to be out there working for the birds. The gear that's available today is going to make your hunt just that much more enjoyable. Watching my own dog work, being out there with my friends, congratulating a buddy on a good shot, those are all things that I really like about upland hunting. I'm Judd Geese and I'm an upland hunting expert at Shields. Friday night welcomed what Coach Hatstall called the team's biggest test so far this season. The Terriers of Boston University rumbled into town, and the diehard fans of both teams made their bid to be known as the true fans of hockey. I just thought it was a good hockey game. I mean, it was it was close. It was hard fought. It was uh, you know there was pretty good pace to it. Um, a lot of physical play, and uh, you know it was a hard-fought 60-minute game. I mean, they're they're a very good hockey team, and they hold that tonight. UND won the contest 4-2, using every one of sophomore Connor Gorder's hat-trick goals to muster a gritty BU performance. Yeah! Oh, well, it feels, feels great, I guess. Uh, you know, it's bigger to get the win tonight than anything. Uh, BU's a good team, uh, and we're looking forward to tomorrow night. It was unbelievable, obviously, just 
popping three goals and like that, and the way he did it with two of them driving to the net and just you know being hard to play against was just unbelievable. And one was a nice, nice shot, unbelievable. He played great, and he was definitely the, the spark we needed tonight, and he absolutely ignited us. So you know, good for him. However, the second game of the weekend proved to be too tall of a task for UND to complete. For the third Saturday in a row, the Green and White failed to collect a win. Uh, we had, you know, I, thought, I mean, there was a lot of opportunities both ways, and that both goaltenders had a pretty good game going. Um, you know, and obviously it's a different game if we're able to make it a two-goal game. Uh, you know, some at some point in time during the third, but we had a good third period going. But uh, it's, you know, it's not a 15-minute period; it's a 20-minute period. And, I mean, that's that's what I'll keep coming back to. UND led two to one halfway through the game, following Danny Christo's first goal of the season. But defensive errors plagued the team when they tried to lean on what is usually the strong point of their game. Well, what, uh, what changed in the last five minutes or so of the game? What, what, what did you do or you guys not do? Uh, you know, I think it was just kind of us mentally breaking down a little bit. I think we got pretty sloppy there and kind of took our foot off the gas pedal. And they made some nice plays and were able to capitalize. So. I think it's a little bit of both, but I think it's definitely something that uh, our team needs to take that credit for, and uh, we need to work to improve that. Connor Gorder wasn't the top recruit of the 2011 freshman class, but has developed into a key part of the lineup. Well, I think he's you know, he's very he's very confident because he's prepared. He uh, he knows what his role is. He works very hard every day in practice. He executes well in practice day in and day out, uh, and I think that prepares him very well going into a game. He's relaxed. He's comfortable. He's confident. Uh, in whatever the situation that arises, uh, he's not thinking about uh, anything else in terms of uh, outside pressures or anything like that. He's just going out and doing the job, having fun and playing hard. Right now it was a good night, but. Uh... There on Saturday, we let it let it go at the end, and uh, you know it's not a good uh, taste in our mouth right now. Although a walk-on, Gorder scored the first UND hat trick since the 2011 WCHA playoffs. It's a really good feed by Rocco from behind the net, so uh, a lot of credit goes to him. But uh, yeah, it felt good to get that third one. Uh, he's an unbelievable guy for sure. I sit beside him in the locker room. He's always keeping me going, keeping me on my toes, making jokes on practice days, and just a really great guy. Um, just to see him get a hat trick like that was a great feel and I couldn't stop smiling for him. off the Anchorage series and we weren't very happy with our Friday night game. Anchorage played very, very well. We had, uh, as, uh, as a whole, our team effort wasn't where it needed to be and I think uh, individually and as a team we really tried to challenge ourselves and Connor was one of those guys and he, uh, he had a great week of practice uh, coming into Friday night and uh, obviously he went on he's a huge player for our team. A product of Edina High School, Connor shares roots older than his college career with senior defenseman Joe Gleason. I actually uh, ended up growing up across the street from Connor and his brother Casey, so we played on a lot of teams together at Edina, so it was pretty cool when he uh, ended up coming here and we get to play together again. Gordy uh, took a visit and actually, first time I found out he visited was also the first time he told me he was coming, so uh, it was pretty cool to you know get that call and hear it from him. I was pretty excited and obviously our families were pretty excited just because we've known each other for so long, so it's, uh, it's been really awesome. As the team prepares for the trip to St. Cloud, not only the game plan is in the minds of the coaches, but also the dimensions. Yeah, you know, the Olympic ice is a lot bigger than, you know, regular, regular ice surface, and, uh, you know, we prepare a little bit different. The Huskies, like other teams around the WCHA, play on an Olympic sheet of ice instead of UND's NHL regulation-sized ice. Well, this is, you know, it's the start of, uh, uh, you know, a run of games here. We're going to play a lot on the road, so we've got to get a road, road warrior type of mentality. We're going into a, a loud building. We're going onto a big ice surface. 
Uh, we just have to go in there and, uh, and play very well and very consistent as a team. We've got to go and play hard for each other. Uh, again, you, you know what, prepare well during the week, go out and have fun and uh, work our tails off on the weekend. In the last decade, UND has not won at the National Hockey Center on Friday night. On the other hand, they have not lost on Saturday, and the team is looking to spread that record to Friday. You know, nothing we're not expecting. I mean, we got the, the Olympic ice sheet here we practiced on before we go and play there. So, uh, you know, it's a bigger rank, bigger area to cover. Um, you know, those are probably the only things. They play well at home, too. I think Friday night's going to be a big game. If we could come out and maybe get a quick start on them, uh, we have to uh, get whatever we can right off the bat and just kind of drain their momentum. and take the crowd away and the student section there is pretty good so quiet them down and maybe get the momentum started on our side. You gotta play hard, you know, St. Cloud's gonna be a great team. Um, so we're gonna have to come out hard, we're at their rink. Uh, we're gonna have to shut them up uh, pretty quick. Uh, we're just doing a little Movember. Uh, kind of try to run, or donate some money to prostate cancer, raise some money. Um, it's something that uh, a lot of teams actually are starting to do, and I think we've done it pretty much every year we've, uh, that I've been here at least. So it's just just for a good cause and uh, something fun. I mean, some guys don't like it, but uh, we, we're doing it together, so that's what's good about it. We're raising some money as well. So. I don't know. It's gonna be tough because for the past few years it's been uh, Coach Eads, but uh, he's obviously not here anymore. So I don't know. It's it's up for grabs, but uh, I know guys are putting some dye in and trying their best. <laughs> <laughs> you better not put that on. Um, just extremely hard working. And <laughs> <laughs> would never do anything like that to me. Damn. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny to you. <laughs>